Let's see how we can implement API tests with Python. One way to achieve this is by using request library, which is an elegant and simple HTTP library for Python built for human beings. First step is to install it just like this. And what we will be testing is this products REST API, which is hosted locally. And I will leave a link in the description with the video where I describe step by step how to implement this and how to run it locally using Fast API. So this products API has operations like get products, post, put or delete products. Let's start with the beginning and we will implement a test for the first method, which is get products. We'll give it a try here and we can see the response like request URL and response status with response body. Switch to VS Code and here I have already created a project containing few packages and modules, which don't worry, we will review during this video. Under config, I have this API settings module, which contains for now the base URL and get products endpoint, things which I've seen in Swagger UI a few moments ago. Under test package, I have this test products module and using PyTest framework, I have defined a test get products function. If you are not familiar with PyTest, you can go ahead and check on my channel, the Visual Studio Code Selenium Python tutorial, where I explain how to install it and how to use it. I also want to have logs and to create a HTML report. And for that, I will be using PyTest HTML and logging module. Add a logger saying that the test is starting. Then we call request.get and pass the request URL for get endpoint, just like this. Then another logger and print the response. A note here, I want to pretty print the response message so it looks better in the report. And to achieve this, I have this response utils module under utils package. Then we have another logger to print the status code and do the assertion and one more logger saying that the test has ended. And that's it. We can now give it a run. pytest -m api test dash dash html equal report.html. Let's open the HTML report and as we can see we get all the logs from the test. Now we can do similar tests for the remaining operations. I will start by adding the endpoints for get product ID, post, put and delete product. Going back to test products module, I have already implemented all the tests and now let's review them one by one. We start with post product. Here we have a JSON which contains our product. Under data, we have this new product JSON file and it looks like this. Then we call requests post, send the request URL using the post endpoint and specify the content type. And of course we pass the payload. Then the rest remain the same and we check the status code and log the messages. Next function is get product by ID. And to make this work in isolation or to not be dependent on the test order, I have a function which creates a product and returns the product ID. This function is similar with the previous test where we create a product only that at the end we deserialize the JSON and extract the product ID. Then the next steps are pretty similar. We call requests get and pass the get product ID endpoint together with the product ID we want to retrieve. And that's it. Next function is put product. On the same considerations as above, we make sure we have the data before trying to use it. Post the product, get the product ID. We read the update product JSON file and call request put together with the specific endpoint with all of the above information. And finally, this is our delete product function. 
prepare the data we need, then call request delete and pass the delete endpoint with the product ID. And those are all the tests. What else I want to show you is the update product JSON file and also JSON Utils module, which contains functions to read a JSON file or to serialize or deserialize JSONs. If you are still here, now is the time to go to terminal and run the tests. PyTest-M API tests dash dash HTML equal report.html. The tests have run. Let's open the report file. And as we can see, now we have five test cases. Post a new product. This is the response we get back. Get a product by ID. First, we create a product. And afterwards, we call the get product by ID endpoint, which gives us back this. Update the product. As we can see, we get a new value for name and price. And finally, delete product, which is this one. Okay, so that was everything for now. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.